Mr. Dean, how many American presidents have you accused of being Richard Nixon? <laughs> I actually wrote a book about Mr. Bush and Mr. Cheney with the title, Worse Than Watergate. So, 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 it, so it's, it's sort of become a cottage. Did you make money on that book? It was a very successful book, How much yes. money did you make on it? I'm sorry, I don't have any idea. Wait a second, Mr. Dean has made a cottage industry out of accusing presidents of acting like Richard Nixon. I would like to know how much money he makes based on making these accusations and exploiting them for his own economic can, benefit. Uh, and Mr. You're Mr. Saying that's Mr. Gates, uh, uh, Mr. Gates, I appreciate you were uh, not born at the time this all happened. Uh, the, it's not by choice that I've done a lot of this. It's and I've been dragged into it. Who forced I, you? Who forced you to uh, accuse George W. Bush of being Richard Nixon? Who forced me to? It was right after I had spent ten years in a lawsuit knocking down false statements uh, about what my role had and hadn't been. Well, let's speak now to the truth or falsity of statements. Uh, do you have personal knowledge regarding the truth or falsity of a single material fact in the Mueller report? I, I think if you recall the first thing I said, I'm not here as a fact witness. You're here to provide historical context. Exactly. And throughout history, you accuse presidents of acting like Richard Nixon, and you make money off of it, right? Not all presidents, no. No, but a few more Those than Those who do act like him, I pointed out. Let me ask you this question. How do Democrats plan to pay for Medicare for all? I'm sorry? How do, well, I figured if we were going to ask you about stuff you don't know about, we'd start with the big stuff. So do you know how they plan to pay for Medicare for all? Uh, who? The Democrats or which candidate or can well, you be more specific? Let's get specific to Nixon since that appears to be why you're here. Do you believe Well, actually, Nixon did have a health care plan. <laughs> Good. Good. Well, do you believe if we, if we turned the lights off here and maybe lit some candles, got out a Ouija board, we could potentially raise the specter of Richard Nixon? <laughs> I, I doubt that. Well, it, it, seems to be, it seems to be the objective. You know, here we sit today in this hearing with the ghost of Christmas past because the chairman of the committee has gone to the Speaker of the House and sought permission to open an impeachment inquiry. But she has said no. And so instead of opening the impeachment inquiry into Donald Trump, which is what the chairman wants to do and what I presume a majority of Democrats want to do, we're here reopening the impeachment inquiry potentially into Richard Nixon, sort of playing out our own version of that 70s show. And, and what I really regret, it is, it is Dean, striking, is Mr. Gates. you're here as a prop. You it are is. functionally here as a prop because they can't impeach President Trump because 70% of Democrats want something that 60% of Americans don't. So they're in this no-win situation, and you sit before us here with no knowledge of a single fact on the Mueller report on a hearing entitled Lessons from the Mueller Report. Mr. Here's Gates, the can I answer not, your question, it's please? It's not your time, Mr. Dean. It's my time. So, so, here's, the, so here's the deal, right? We, we have a false accusation against the President of the United States that he was an agent of Russia. My colleagues on the Democratic side made that accusation. And so where do we go from here? Either we look into how the President reacted to a false allegation against him, or we look into why for 22 months, we allowed a false accusation to tear this country apart. Now, to me, it seems like a far more relevant inquiry to figure out why the FISA court was lied to, something that you have spoken a great deal about, Mr. Dean. And now here, we are continuing to engage in this frivolous exercise of going after the president, despite the fact that there was absolutely no collusion. You guys need to get your act together and figure out if you're going to open an impeachment inquiry or not, because this is a straight-up fiction. I yield back. Gentlemen, his time has expired. The witness may answer the question. Uh, that was a speech. I don't believe I can respond to it. It's not sufficient time.